Let's learn a few more very important rules about word stress, which is the rhythm and melody of English. Let's look at these two examples and we'll see how they are different and how this is so very important in order for you to sound more like a native speaker. New phone. New is an adjective, phone is a noun. Look at this. We have a staircase. We go up on the word phone and we say it like this. New phone. I have a new phone. But look at the second example. Cell phone. We go up on the word cell and we go down on the word phone and we say it like this. Cell phone. New phone. Cell phone. Why are they different? Let me teach you the rule. New is an adjective and phone is a noun. When we have an adjective plus noun combination, we stress the second word. New phone, big house, good day, nice job. When we have two nouns, we stress the first word. Cell is a noun. So we say cell phone. We don't say cell phone. We say cell phone. For example, if I say parking lot. Parking is a noun, lot is a noun. We say parking lot. Or if I say newspaper, we say newspaper. Compound nouns, two words representing one meaning. We stress the first word. We say them together. Cell phone. And by the way, maybe you say mobile phone. And in British English, they say mobile. American English is mobile. Mobile phone or mobile phone. Remember, we stress the first word in a compound noun, second word in an adjective plus noun. Or you can combine all three words and we can say new cell phone. What do we do in that case? We still stress the first part of the compound noun and we say new cell phone. I got a new cell phone. Let's try a few more examples like that. How about if I say interesting video? And by the way, I hope you think this video is an interesting video. We're going to stress video because interesting is an adjective, so we're going to say it like this. That's an interesting video. But if I say YouTube video, that's a compound noun because YouTube is a noun. It's, it's a place. It's a thing. It's a company. So we say like this, YouTube video. I'm watching a YouTube video. Now we're going to combine the adjective and the compound noun and we're going to say interesting YouTube video. Listen, that's an interesting YouTube video. Let's practice a few more words. How about if I say big room? Do we stress big or room? We follow this pattern because big is like new. It's an adjective. So we say big room. But how about if I say bedroom or living room or bathroom? Those are compound nouns. So we say bedroom, living room, bathroom. Now let's combine all three words. Big bedroom, big living room, big bathroom, small living room. That's the general pattern I'd like you to follow when you're speaking English. There are hundreds or maybe thousands of compound nouns all around us. For example, computer screen. We don't say computer screen. We say computer screen. I have a large computer screen or laptop. I have a small laptop. That's a compound noun because lap is a noun. Laptop. Popular channel. Popular. That's an adjective. So now we're going to say popular channel. But listen to this. Popular YouTube channel. And you can think of your own examples of making combinations with these types of words. Think of other compound nouns and adjectives and nouns and then put them all together and try to create this natural sounding speech. I think it will really help your accent. In order to learn other very important rules about rhythm and melody and in addition to learn about the important vowel sounds of American English and the difficult consonant sounds, you can go to accurateenglish.com where you can find materials and especially videos that will help you a lot to sound more like a native speaker. And when you're on the website, don't forget to sign up for the mailing list because new products are coming and I'd like to let you know when they're available. Thanks for watching.